Welcome. All right, so to graph this, what I have is f of x equals cosine of x minus pi. And so the only thing I noticed from my parent graph is I'm just subtracting pi. So what exactly does that mean? Well, real quick, let's find out everything we need to to graph cosine. We need to know the amplitude, the period, the x scale, the vertical, uh, let's do phase shift, and the vertical transformation. Okay, so the amplitude, remember, is, uh, before I do that, how, where am I going to determine all these? Well, we need to know the transformation, the transformation clause for cosine. So amp amplitude is the absolute value of A, which in this case, we have 1. So absolute value of 1, which is just 1. Period is 2 pi divided by B, which in this case, B is our coefficient over X, which is just 1, so it's 2 pi. Our X scale is BX minus C. Um, equal to zero. So I'm going to take, to find my, oh, I'm sorry, x scale is just period divided by four, which is two pi divided by four, which equals pi halves. My phase shift now is going to be, okay, my phase shift is going to be taking what is inside my parentheses, set it equal to zero. Now again, the phase shift um, is just going to be shifting the graph left or right. Um, we there is no really start and end to a graph. However, when I'm graphing these, I always like to start at the phase shift. And in the parent graph, the phase shift is 0. Um, so we start at 0. In this case, to determine the phase shift, I'm just going to go x minus pi equals 0, and then solve for x. x equals pi. So therefore, this tells me my graph has now been shifted pi units to the right. And then my vertical transformation is going to be my d, which in this case is none. So to graph this and at least kind of see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the parent function as well as our new function all on the same axes. So our parent function, if you remember, let's pretend here is 0, right? Well, <clears throat> our parent function has an amplitude of 1 to negative 1. And it has a period of 2 pi. And remember, there's four x scales, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4. And each x scale is pi halves between each other. And then I can just continue this pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be, um, that would be two periods which I'd want to do, right? OK. 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi. OK. So if I was going to graph the parent function, again, what I'm graphing right now is the parent function. f of x equals cosine of x. You have to know what the parent function is to understand kind of what this phase shift is doing. So if I graph the parent function, I'm just going to graph it. We always start at the vertex. And this is starting at 0. This is with no transformations. I'm going to go up, down, up, boom. That's one period. Two periods. No, that's wrong. I skipped one. Oh, I didn't go all the way. There we go. OK, two periods. Done, right? But now it's saying the phase shift is at pi. So rather than starting at 0, I'm now going to do the exact same graph, but at pi. So notice it goes from vertex to intercept. So vertex to intercept. Intercept to minimum, to minimum. Back to vertex, back to up, minimum, vertex, minimum, minimum. But now I just connect my points. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what you can see is from the black dash to the red, I have the exact same graph. All I've simply done is shifted it over pi units to the right. But remember, you know, this graph is going to continue. It doesn't really stop and go on. It's going to continue on. But all I've simply done is just shifted it over pi units. So it's helpful when graphing these to go ahead and start with, pi, or start with your phase shift if you have one. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph cosine with the phase shift. Thank you.